Hi guys, it's Rick from Tackle Village back again with another fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a really interesting fly, the CDC Caddis Emerger. It's a fantastic fly for when fish are being a bit picky during a cat caddis hatch. They're not taking the elk hair caddis, they're not taking other, other types of caddis flies. They're sort of boiling rather than rising. We throw this fly at them because of the chenille that it's made of actually sinks into the surface film uh, and positions the fly as an emerger. So anyway, we're going to um, get into the fly tying instructions for this um, great fly. But before we do, two things to mention. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to our channel. There's lots of great fly tying content on there. Uh, the other thing is for step-by-step -step illustrated instructions on tying this fly, I've linked to the blog post on our site uh, in the description field below this video. So that's got the full um, illustrated step-by-step -step if you prefer to work that way. Otherwise, we're going to get straight into the tying instructions for the CDC Caddis Emerger. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to tie this on a um, Camasan um, B400 uh, Emerger hook. Uh, I'm tying it in the 14. You can also tie this fly in a 16. It's very effective. Right here. So first we're going to uh, just lay down a thread base. Pretty straightforward. I'll do that now. And having done that, next step is to um, tie in some tailing fibers. I've used a yellow, um, yellow microfiber, so you could equally use um, a paintbrush here, um, just any light colored um, like co coloured fibres here to uh, create our tail, uh, which I'm doing now. Sorry, it's a bit rough. Try not to hold my hand in front of the camera too much. Okay, so that's the tailing fibres in. I'll trim off the butt and just run the thread up a little bit. Now what we want to do is go back to our insertion point for the tail uh, and we'll tie in some green micro chenille. This is the chenille we're using here. I'll just let it drop down. As narrow as you can get it. You don't want this fly to be bulky. Um, I, I don't think this is the smallest possible size you can get, but it's it's pretty small. Now I'm just going to tie the very, very tip of this in because I don't want it to be too bulky. So I'm trying not to sort of capture too much when I tie it in. Alright, so I have tied it in. Uh, and now I am going to take the thread back to uh, about three quarters along, of the way along the shank. Now I'm going to wrap the chenille to form a body. Like I said, I want this body to be thin. This is a little too thick for my liking for this fly, but uh, it was the narrowest chenille I could get. So I wouldn't really want to tie the 16 with this, so I'll, I'll save this stuff for the 14, for this fly in the size 14. So tie it up to the where, where I took the thread to, uh, about three quarters of the way up, through three wraps to tie it off. Now we cut it. Excellent. Now next step with this fly is to, there's one tailing fiber hanging down there, doesn't want to come back up. Anyway, we'll deal with that at the end. Um, next step is to tie in the CDC un underwing. So what I do is I just grab one or two very small, in this case I'm using two very small CDC feathers, puffs, there they are there. Um, I'm just going to tie those in so that they, quite a bulky feather actually, it might, might even go back down to one, yeah, one will do. Uh, tie that in just so that underwing comes to about um, the shank of the, uh, sorry, the bend of the hook. So I will go ahead and Tie the CDC underwing. Okay, that's tied in. Now I will trim the feather. Now, next step with this fly is it, it has a also has a a um, deer hair wing as well over wing. So I've done some deer hair here in the stacker. Um, just try and put it into shot. There it is there in the stacker. Um, just a very small amount. I'll pull it out by the tips. Got a couple of guard hairs I'm just getting rid of. Excellent. Should really put the comb through this beforehand. Anyway, where are we? There it is, a small bunch of deer hair which we're going to tie in. Okay, to form the overwing. I'm going to tie that in now and just do the old 
prevent it from spinning so we're just doing the wraps that get sort of progressively tighter to try and sort of crush it against the hook shank good few wraps I've used about eight there um, now I'm going to tie the cut the parts of the deer hair off reasonably flush excellent get rid of the excess the one fiber that's one uh, that's too long there and one that's the wrong end so I will get rid of that chop it off okay excellent now we've got that in our next task is to whip finish so I'm going to do three turns with the um, brown thread that I'm using one two three whip finish cut that thread now the next task the final task almost the final task is to uh, build up an orange thread uh, sorry orange head so I've got some orange thread here and I'm going to oops it's tough to get it on but once we get it on it'll be fine just got to come around over the top of it successfully and then little anchor there we go a bit ham fisted but it'll do okay so now we just cut the tail off and build up this nice bright orange head which I'll do now just without crowding the eye there we go orange head is completed which is sort of the hallmark of this fly um, don't know why but it seems to work all right so again we finish one two three and we tie that off snip now how's it looking with my eyes I actually find it easier to look on the video uh, recorder screen I'm using iPhone so it's an iPhone screen um, how's it looking it looks okay only thing we do do on this fly is we trim the a few of the deer hairs from the side again I'm not sure why but smarter fly ties than me um, do it makes it a little bit rough but that's all right and there we have it our is it stray fly there we have it our CDC caddis emerger in a um, size 14 oh, I was going to fix up that tailing fiber wasn't I got a bit messy try to do that now there we go yeah I had to take on the other side of the hook tailing fibers look better underwing and overwing look better there's that one that went in the wrong way I'm going to make sure I trim that one that's actually a butt not a tail terrible slack by me it won't matter ultimately cut it and there we have it really good fly uh, I think the key to it is that when that chenille gets wet it actually sits quite low in the water column on the on the surface it breaks the meniscus so it actually functions as a really really good emerger and as you many of you guys will know anything with CDC brown trout just love um, it's a fantastic material tie really lifelike flies especially emerges um, so there you have it a really really nice fly see you next time and don't forget if you're after a materials list for these patterns all the materials you need um, are listed on the blog post along with uh, the illustrated uh, fly tying instructions which has got a photo and a step-by-step um, guide to tying the fly. You'll find those in the blog post that accompanies these videos. I've linked to the blog post in the description field below this video.